Hi, it's Camille here. Uh, in this video, I'd like to show you how to edit quickly and easily a, a video using uh, Windows Live Movie Maker and then upload it to YouTube or to Facebook. Uh, it's very easy and very quick with Windows Live Movie Maker. Okay, so let me uh, get the video that I created. So I just uh, converted a webinar into a, another file that I can use. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter, but you, you drag your video file here or you can you can do it in a different way uh, you can simply choose something like uh, where is that um, you go to no wait a moment yeah actually here you click on add videos and photos and also you can browse to wherever you have your videos or photos you can also choose photos or videos or all files and you choose whatever file you want to choose and you click open and it will be added and then you can move things around now, what is happening now, uh, Windows Live Movie Maker is preparing this video. Why is that happening? It's because this video has got a bigger size than, than a standard small video. It's a fairly large video. Uh, it's more or less the same size as, as this video you're watching now, which is 1280 by 720. Uh, well, it's not huge, but still, uh, nevertheless, Windows Live Movie Maker um, has this uh, a procedure of uh, converting it into something small, just temporarily, so you, so you can actually, so it's easier for you and quicker, even if you have a s computer that's not very powerful, to uh, to edit this. So what we need to do, we need to wait for this to finish. My video is around one hour long, so it's gonna take probably a few minutes. It, it's quick anyway, so you know, for one hour video, if it takes three minutes, uh, then it's still alright. So let me pause the video now. Or actually, uh, what I can do, I can show you in the meantime how we can uh, add the uh, upload buttons to YouTube and Facebook. Normally, you don't have those buttons here at, at the top. Uh, so this one is uh, upload to YouTube. This one is upload to Facebook. Uh, these are the old buttons so that they're not supported anymore. So once you install Windows Live Movie Maker, you can download it for free from Microsoft website or use. Uh, uh, Windows built-in, probably, um, what you call it, Windows updates, it might prompt you as well uh, to install Windows Essentials uh, and uh, Live Movie Maker is part of Windows Essentials. Or you can simply click on, click on Add a Plugin. It will take you to a website and then you choose M Movie Maker Plugins. And then you click on live update, uh, uh, upload to Facebook or live update to YouTube. And then you click on download and that's it. It will be installed and it will uh, show uh, here. So that's how it works. Okay, mm, let's continue with our process. So the video has been uh, uploaded now to uh, uploaded actually added to Windows Live Movie Maker it's been processed so now we can edit it if I want to cut remove any parts uh, what I do I simply find whichever place I want I can then play it during the, the work and you can see 30 uh, seconds uh, of the video and 7100 of a second I don't need that precision so I can uh, move it either here or here so obviously here I will have much greater precision. If you have a look, if I scroll down, yeah, it's been divided like this. So it's a very long, um, something much longer than, than this thing here, yeah, uncomparably longer. So we have greater precision. So let's say I want to cut um, a video and remove something. What I do, uh, so I choose the moment, like now, uh, and I go to edit, and I click on either trim or split. I usually use split because it's easier. If I want to remove something, then I click here, and I choose, and I just click on remove or press delete on my keyboard. If I want to introduce an effect, I go to visual effects. Uh, I, mm, okay, visual effects is something it changes the picture in this Good evening, way, everyone. or you can do it black and white. I don't really want uh, any effects like this, or you can do negative here. Yeah? What I want to do, I want to create animation between those two videos. So what I do, let's say I want to choose uh, this thing. So that's what, 
will happen. Now you can see there is a small triangle here. It indicates that I have uh, placed animation here. Let me go to this video and uh, can I actually do this towards the end? No, it will be the beginning. Okay, so I need to go to the next video if I want to have an animation here. I can either use those workshop preset uh, with workshop effects, but usually I found it's easier if I use those. I have a, quite a lot of those to choose from. So the full drop button, let me see, I can Oh, yeah, I can extend it now. Okay, so you can see there are quite a lot of animations. And for example, I, let's use this one. So it will now show me. Uh, let's see what happens. Yeah. So if I press play, I need to, to come to this webinar to do a webinar with okay, workshop. So I attended uh, with, and you could see there was a nice transition. Okay, I will now actually what I'll do. Um, I will remove that because I don't want to, to place those animations or split. So if I press Control Z. Control Z and Control Z. I want to have one video. I don't want to split it. Um, there is a nice option here. You can use uh, preset uh, animations. So my favorite one is this one. So this is called Auto Movie Themes. So I choose this one, and it wants to add music. Now I don't want to add music. If I wanted, I would click Yes. I will choose Music Track and Open, but I don't want to do it now. Uh, so it only adds um, at the beginning something like this. The preview, if I play the preview, you can see. Okay. Um, so let me edit that. I want to, so I'm clicking on this one and it's not my movie. I want to call it, what do I want to call it? Um, uh, let's say uh, change or transform. Transform your relationships in 30 minutes. Okay, and then I would, uh, then I would uh, adjust to the right length, or I would then place it wherever I want. Now, what I want to do actually, um, I want to make this video actually shorter. I want to publish it on YouTube. And as you know, on YouTube you have a limit of 15 minutes, but I even want to make it shorter, less than 10 minutes. So let me find a moment where it's around 10 minutes. 9.24, let me play it. The whole thing, was it clarity, is power, where, where does it start? Oh, okay, it starts from awareness. Mm -hmm. Awareness gives you clarity. Clarity gives you power. Okay, what I want to do, I will actually cut it just before that. If awareness is the key to happiness. From awareness you get clarity. Okay. From clarity you get power. From power you get success. From success you get happiness. And ultimately happiness leads to the greatest gift of all. Uh, I right. yeah. Okay, so let me uh, move it a little bit here. You get happiness, and ultimately happiness leads to the greatest gift of all. Enlighten. Okay, this is where I want to introduce the split. So I will um, click on uh, uh, so edit, split. Now I'm going to remove this part of the video, so I click on remove. Now it, it's not deleted, it just removed from this editing area, so don't worry, your original video is intact. And uh, as I use also, I've already used my auto movie, so transform, uh, actually I want to do all your relationships, all your relationships in 30 minutes. Now what I can do, I can change the font into smaller or bigger. Uh, unfortunately, I, I need to do everything at the same time. I cannot uh, make differences to separate uh, individual letters or lines. Uh, this program does not allow me to do that. Let me see, so let's choose 24. Okay, I'm happy with that. I can make it bold. Okay, I need to make it a little bit wider. Okay, yeah, 
once I'm happy with it, I'm going to the end of the video. Okay, directed by, that's obviously not applicable. Starring, it's not applicable either. And filmed on location, so I'm just going to choose um, remove. I can do the same thing with pressing delete button as well. So uh, starring, I will remove that. I just need this one. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to place a message here. Um, please go to OK. Uh, I want to center it. OK, let me move it to here. OK, that's what it will look like. Now I want to make it much longer. So tags duration, I want to make it, you know, like 15 seconds so people have time. Uh, background duration, I need to now go to background duration. Uh, where will it be? Uh, so yes, duration, that's the animation now. Um, actually, it's this one. Let me click on it. Yes, duration, yeah, that's the one. So video tools, so text tools and video tools here, added, and also 15 seconds. Okay, now both the text and uh, this black part, actually it's not black, it's a uh, different color. Um, it's more or less the same. Now let me edit the video. Uh, sorry, the font. I want to make it bigger, so let me make it 24 as well. Um, okay, I'm gonna make it bold, and because it's a gray background, uh, let me see what letters would look good on gray, maybe just simply black. Let's play it and see what it will look like. Yeah, more or less fine. It, it will look much better, better quality in the video that we will create. This is just a preview, so the quality is pretty low. Okay, so that's it. Um, now I'm done. So I'm just going to click on upload to upload, live upload to YouTube. Click, then I choose the size. It says recommended. No, I don't want this big. YouTube anyway, uh, I don't think YouTube supports a full HD. It just doesn't make sense and the size would be ridiculous. So I'm going to choose this one. It says estimated 300. It will be much less because it's a lot of static video. So it, I will choose this one. Authentication has expired, so I need to log into my uh, YouTube account. So username uh, and okay, it's loading. Then I type would uh, would type the uh, title of my movie. So uh, how to and so on and so on description. I can paste the URLs here as well, so I would uh, paste the URL from my website. Um, it's always best to, to paste them, because if you don't paste, you can make a mistake. Also, if you paste, you can uh, do the full uh, URL, so with HTTP colon double slash forward and so on and so on. So people then can click on it and go to your website. Keywords. Um, so how do people want to find it? So that would be relationships and so on and so on. Then you select category. Once you're done with everything, so if you select category, you can then click publish. Uh, Windows Live Movie Maker will then save the video and after saving it, it will upload it to YouTube. Why does it need to save it? Because we've done some edits, so you need to save it in a new format with all those edits and then it will upload uh, to YouTube. YouTube then uh, will convert the video itself, obviously. YouTube has got its own um, uh, conversion tools just to make it uh, easy for every people, make it make sure that it's unified and well working. And after, you know, after YouTube uh, has done the job, the video will be available. So that's it. It's so easy. That's how you uh, do videos on uh, using Windows Live Movie Maker. And please uh, come to my blog, camilsview.com to see uh, more videos, both uh, technical and not technical, helping you with other life issues. And uh, please leave me comments either on my blog or uh, under the video on